eighth graders. We would like to welcome you to our first online BCMS orientation. As we embark upon a new normal during the 2020-2021 school year, it is our desire that each student and parent understand that we care. We have committed to do the work so we can reimagine Bessemer. We also expect our students to do the work so that they can experience academic excellence, social, emotional peace, and physical health. We will begin the school year strong with great expectations, and we will end the year meeting those expectations because we did the work to become better in Bessemer. Have a super fantastic school year and welcome back virtually. This year, we have two mottos, do the work while reimagining Bessemer City Schools. BCMS personal motto is BCMS do the work. The system motto is reimagine Bessemer City Schools. Now a word from Jaden Henderson, who is a songwriter of the song, Do the Work. This is our administrative team for Best Mercedes Middle School. It is Principal Lisa Hurd, Assistant Principal Van James, and Assistant Principal Jamika Thomas. The rest of our administrative staff, we have Ms. Kiana Childers Nash, who's our Financial Secretary. We have Ms. Patricia Wright, who's our Office Secretary and Ms. Rashida Martin, who's our attendance secretary. We have a wonderful counseling department. We have Ms. Tanya Miller, our eighth grade counselor, Ms. Exter Cochran, our seventh grade counselor, and new to the Bessemer City Middle School this year, we have Ms. Tamara Oliver Jackson, our sixth grade counselor. We welcome Ms. Jackson to our staff this year. We also have a new media specialist. Our media specialist is Ms. Kimberly Hunter. She has great expectations for our library. Our library has been repurposed. You know, our students, when they return to school, will, she wants them to return their books on time, treat the library with respect, and understand that it's an inviting environment. She's also soliciting suggestions and encourages students to let her know how she can improve the library. We have excellent eighth grade teams. For our White Tigers, we have Ms. Rogers, Ms. Griggs, Ms. Fox, and Ms. Dixon. For our Purple Tigers, we have Ms. Smith, Ms. Gurley, Mr. Yates, and Ms. Griglin. We have Coach Lassiter, Coach Moon, and Coach Burks. Our career tech department, we have Dr. Angel Dunlap, we have Ms. Javon Levy, Ms. Barbara Dunham, and Ms. Sarah Murray. Fine Arts Department, our new choir teacher, Ms. Georgisha Cowan, and our band director is Mr. Tristan Twyman. 
Special Ed Department, we have Ms. Maddie Underwood, Ms. Michelle Williams, Ms. Brenda Simpson, and Ms. Caitlin Hagerla. On Tuesday of this week, our board approved the revised 2020-21 calendar. On September 3rd, the first day of students is the half day. Students will log into Schoology from 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. The same for September 4th. September 7th is Labor Day and BCMS is closed. On September 8th, it is the first full day for students. Our students will log in at 9 a.m. until 12 noon. They have an afternoon break from 12 until 1.29 p.m. At 1.30, our students will log back in and remain logged in until 4.30 p.m. On November 11th, we have Veterans Day and BCMS is closed. November 25th through the 27th, we have our Thanksgiving holidays and BCMS is closed. Our winter break is from December 21st through January 1st and BCMS is closed. At this time, Bessemer City Middle School is in remote learning where all of our students are learning from home. At the end of our nine weeks, Dr. Autumn Jeter will make an assessment during the, fourth, during the fourth week of our nine weeks to determine whether or not our students will return to the school or will continue remote learning. This is based upon COVID-19 data. The remote instructional day. So on September 3rd and 4th, students will be logged in. All of our students will be logged in through Schoology and that's 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. September 8th is the first full day for students. So let's see, think about what this looks like. On Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I did not make a mistake. Wednesdays were omitted for a reason. On those four days, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, students will log into Schoology beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. in the morning and end at 12 noon but that was, that's when they'll take their one and a half hour break. At 1.30, students will log back in and end at 4.30. On Wednesdays, teachers will contact parents for parent meetings. They will provide small group instruction to students and they will provide tutoring. And this is from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. Registration, schedule, and fees. Eighth graders. We are releasing this video today, August 20th, via our Facebook page, website, and YouTube channel. If you do not have a SNAP code for online registration, you can call the school or make an appointment to receive your SNAP code. Again, you must have your SNAP code to register online. This year, we are doing a drive through registration on the 27th and 28th. On August 27th, last name A through G, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. August 27th, last name H through N, 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. August 28th, last name O through S, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And August 28th, last name T through Z, 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Students will submit fees to pay for t-shirts, mask, required IDs, lanyards, and BCMS handbook slash planner. When face-to-face -face instruction begins, students will be required to purchase lockers. One child is $30. For two children in the same household, $50. And for three children in the same household, $60. School supplies. School supply lists. School supply list will be by grade and posted on our school's webpage, Facebook page, and sent via email and text. We will also place a school supply list at our local Walmart. Computer pickup. <clears throat> school computers can be picked up during scheduled pickup, and for eighth graders, it'll be on the days of August 27th and August 28th. I now pass codes and report cards. 
I now pass codes for students and parents will be distributed during registration. This is the only form of paper communication during the year because of COVID-19. And parents, please remember this year, starting this year, we'll, we'll be able to, you'll be able to access your report cards through I now. There will be no paper report cards. All report cards will be able to be accessed through I now. Schoology. Okay, parents. Schoology is our new learning management system. It is a social networking service and virtual learning environment for K-12 schools and higher education institutions that allows users to create, manage, and share academic content. It's based on three components, course, resources, and groups. Schoology will be compiled of two types of materials. The first type of material is informational, and the second type is interactive. Informational materials include folders, file uploads, links, pages, and media. The interactive materials are discussions, assignments, media al albums, and assessments. Schoology will become the main platform for virtual learning. So I know you're saying, well, last year y'all introduced us to Google Classroom and now you want us to learn something else. Well, let me explain it to you like this. Schoology is like a house and Google Classroom, Edmodo, Acellus, all of those uh, schools, POP, all of those things can be housed in Schoology. So parents, when you log into Schoology, you will be able to access all the things that seem very familiar to you. If you would like training on Schoology, please visit the BCS Board of Education webpage because there are numerous recorded trainings on how parents can access their students' information in Schoology. If you have a student who receives special education services or accommodations through 504 or who this, your child may have been referred to the problem solving team, this is the information for your child. Special education services are provided for students who have an individualized education program. If your child has an IEP, your child's case manager will provide special education services. The general education teacher or other service provider will provide accommodations for your child. If you have any questions regarding your child's services, please email me, Lisa Hurd at lhurd at bestk12.org. What is 504? 504 is a protection for students with disabilities from discrimination. If your child has a 504 plan, we will conduct an annual meeting to review the status of your child's plan. If you would like additional information or feel that your child would benefit from a 504 plan, please email Mr. Van James at vjames at bestk12.org. The problem solving team will be a functioning team that utilizes multi-tiered systems of supports for students regarding academics, behavior, and social emotional learning. All teams will meet every four and a half weeks to make recommendations for student interventions. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Thomas at jathomas at bestk12.org. Meals. Bessemer City Schools Child Nutrition Program provides lunch for anyone 18 years old and under during August 17th and August 24th. Students can pick up meals at Jonesboro Elementary School from 10 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. From CF Hard Elementary School from 11 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. And from Abrams Elementary from 12 p.m. to 12.45 p.m. Beginning September 3rd, students must have a BCMS ID in order to pick up meals from Bessemer City School Child Nutrition Program. This is from the federal government and also from our director, Ms. Shaw. So again, September 3rd, students must have a BCMS ID in order to pick up meals from Bessemer City Schools Child Nutrition Program. The CMP department will only provide meals to Bessemer City School students. Again, the CMP department will only provide meals to Bessemer City School students. Athletics. Bessemer City School, Bessemer City Middle School will not host fall athletic events due to COVID-19. 
All Bessemer City middle school athletes in seventh and eighth grades can participate in football and volleyball at BCHS if they have met the AHSAA requirements. The Bessemer City Board of Education and Superintendent Dr. Autumn Jeter will provide guidance for spring sports based on COVID-19 data. Now we will have parent questions, eighth grade. All right, question one, here's some questions that were sent in that parents are asking about. Number one, when are volleyball tryouts? Because Bessemer City Middle School is not hosting um, fall athletics, our seventh and eighth grade students are allowed to play up, which means they are allowed to play at the high school level. All interested players, volleyball players, please contact Coach Lottie Moon at lmoon at bestk12.org. That's L-M-O-O-N at B-E-S-S-K. 12.org. If you are interested, if you are interested in playing volleyball. All right, next question. Will the students be required to sit on the computer for a whole day? We are creating a schedule now where students will know when to turn, tune in for what subjects. We do want students to be engaged for, the primar for primarily most of the day. That will be from 9 to 12 and 1.30 to 4.30. But teachers are fully aware and capable of engaging students through those times. Again, they will have certain subjects at certain times, and we will release that schedule as soon as it is approved. Okay, question three is similar to question two. How will you all facilitate our online learning? And that question, Ms. Thomas kind of touched on that. Uh, all the students won't be in the school building at one time. Uh, we'll have a portion of the students who will be in the building from nine to 12. Teachers will be required to teach certain portions and uh, have, this, have themselves available you know, to take questions and do and um, help and help students out if need be uh, during the rest of that uh, of our scheduled time. So the teachers will be able to facilitate as well as teach during during those online hours. Question four: If children are doing virtual schooling for the entire year, will they get a chance to meet their teachers, or will the teachers be outsourced from somewhere else? Students um, who are choosing virtual learning this year, virtual learning is where they are um, using the online platform for the entire year. Remote is where we are looking at a, a data and see when we will um, transition to um, traditional school. So virtual is where the parents are choosing for their students to be online for the entire year. Those virtual teachers are Bessemer City Middle School teachers. And so, um, no, they will not be outsourced from another company. Your child, if they are doing virtual, will have Bessemer City Middle School teachers. Question five, when will students pick up schedules? Students will pick up their schedules, eighth grade students will pick up their schedules on August 27th. If your names begin, or your last names begin with A through G, from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. If your last names begin for H through N from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. And on August 28th, your last names begin with O through S from 9 until 11. And if your last names begin um, with T, T through Z from 1.30 to 3.30. Again, so those dates are August 27th and August 28th. If those dates do not work for you as a parent, please contact the school to schedule an individual appointment. But these are the times from 9 through 11, 1.30 to 3.30 on August 27th and August 28th based on last names. All right, question six. Will they have a choice in electives? 
We have several electives here at Bessemer City Middle School, but only two are two electives can be requested. Um, students can request to be in band. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students can request to be in band, and seventh and eighth grade students can be can request to be in choir. Seventh and eighth grade students can request to be in choir. All other electives are part of the scheduler, so all other electives will be a part of the schedule. All right, question seven. When will they pick up computers slash books? Okay. Uh, Go ahead, Mr. James. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, students and parents will be able to pick up computers on those days of registration. So for eighth grade, it'll be on the 27th and the 28th. Those, that'll be your days to pick up your computers. And because of COVID, we won't be issuing out any books. So we'll only be able to just pick up computers. I uh, don't think we'll be issuing out any books. All right, question eight. What if any information will be given about fees? Yes, we will have registration fees this year. They are for one child, $30. For two children of the same household, $50. And for three children of the same household, $60. This um, registration thing include a t-shirt, a mask with a BCMS logo, ID, lanyard, and a handbook slash planner. All of these items are included in your fee of registration. And these were all of the questions that our eighth grade parents asked, but there was one prominent question that was asked in sixth and seventh grade, and that was about Wi-Fi. So I'm going to read this statement because it is very important. Alabama broadband connectivity for students. And this is information so that parents can get free Wi-Fi for their children during the fall semester. The ABC for Students program will help households throughout Alabama access internet this fall. The Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security CARES Act provides $100 million in funding to deliver free internet access to eligible K-12 students in their homes this fall. All Bessemer City Schools students are eligible. I repeat, all Bessemer City Schools students are eligible. The state of Alabama will use the funds to purchase internet service for low-income households with K-12 students so the children can participate in distance learning. We are working to make the process as easy as possible for students who choose to participate. If your student is enrolled in the National School Lunch Program through their school, you are already enrolled in the Alabama Broadband Connectivity for Students Program. You will receive a prepaid voucher by U.S. Mail by the end of August. Then all you'll have to do is call the internet service provider of your choice, give them your voucher code, and sign up for service. Please visit https colon forward slash forward slash abcstudents.org, abcstudents.org for additional information. Parents, we read that because you have one month or 30 days to call in and request the service through the voucher. If you do not call in, within the 30 days, you will not have that option. Remember, call in or, or um, go online to abcstudents.org so that your child can access free internet. We want to thank you for your time and your cooperation. We understand that this is a lot of information, but we look forward to an exciting school year. Yes, we are starting off remotely, but we are working diligently to make sure that each person is safe and that they have an awesome school year. On behalf of the administrative team, we thank you. And we are looking forward to doing the work so that we can reimagine Bessemer. Let's do the work, eighth graders. Thank you. Bye. Good evening.